If you have a really damaged skin barrier and you want to fix it, you might be overwhelmed with the amount of skincare products in the industry. You don't know what these ingredients all are, so I'm here to break it down all for you. For context, I have really sensitive dry skin and I'm diagnosed with eczema, so a lot of the products I use didn't tend to work on my skin as well. And do you even know what's in some of these popular skincare ingredients? Hello, hello, it's Ayuri. Welcome back to the cozy corner of the internet. And if you're new, hi, my name is Ayuri and I teach you all about how to glow from the inside and out but today we are actually talking about how to glow from the inside because we are going underneath our layer of skin i'm going to be explaining how some skincare products work with some chemistry so refresh your mind on your high school chemistry classes so a lot of skincare products are going to promise you anti-aging or renewal but what does that even mean and how does it actually work because you have to know how this actually works on your skin because it might not align with your skin type so before i got into skincare i I kept seeing retinol everywhere and I had no idea what retinol was so I just bought I just bought a skincare product that had retinol in it and I started using it for around one or two days and my skin started peeling like it would heal and flake so bad it got so bad to the point that when i started to pick at my skin i would just completely got rid of my skin barrier so when i put on skincare products my face would sting so much it would be really painful and i thought because my skin was peeling i had to exfoliate more so i used a bunch of peelers and that made it even worse so let's start with explaining what retinol actually is and if it's a right fit for you so retinol is actually a type of vitamin a and it's an otc it's an over-the-counter type of product so it's actually used in a lot of prescription based skincare products so it's actually very strong so what retinol essentially does it is speeds up the cell renewal process and it stimulates collagen and elastin they don't actually remove the dead skin itself but they go underneath your skin layer so they help neutralize free radicals so what that essentially means is think of it as all of the bad skin on your face the cells that don't have any pigment they don't have any life they're kind of dead they have an unpaired electron and the bad skin cells they steal the electrons from the healthy ones it causes oxidative stress do you guys remember oil rig from chemistry class oxidation is loose reduction is gain ap chemistry ptsd anyways so when these bad molecules start taking away electrons it causes stress in your skin which speeds up aging and causes it to be dead basically and then retinol actually gives that spare electron to the unstable molecules so that's why it's called an anti-aging product because it can help get rid of some wrinkles a little bit plumper now this is where it becomes tricky because retinol is actually very strong like i said it's over the counter prescribed in a lot of actual medical type of skincare it's not so good for people with dry skin it's better for people normal to oily skin if you do use retinol always pair it with a good moisturizer or sunscreen so because retinol wasn't a really good fit for me there's actually a similar type of retinol called baxio which is actually plant-based and it's really popular in japan i don't think it's as popular in the west this is just a personal recommendation one of my favorite skincare masks it's from a mask from nature republic and it, so if you're ever in japan you can definitely go buy you can also buy it online from japan shop too so i have two different boxes i really like these because you can use like one a day it helps exfoliate it without really damaging your skin and because it's a face mask it has a lot of hydrating type of ingredients too it's hyaluronic acid i also really like the toriden one the serum right here it can hold water up to 1000 times its weight but it needs to be sealed in with a moisturizer if you put all this water into your skin and you go into a pretty dry climate for example you're under air conditioning or you're under the heating where the room is pretty dry it can actually draw the water out out of your face because obviously how chemistry works you know diffusion and osmosis it's going to go from high concentration to low concentration so to stop the moisture from leaving your skin you have to lock the hyaluronic acid with a mo good moisturizer so this one has hyaluronic acid and the safe and the plant-based version of retinol which is way gentler and another ingredient you might see often is this ingredient called pdrn it's more popular in asia and korea did you know that pdrn is actually derived from salmon sperm 
Yeah, so when you're putting PDRN on your face, you're basically putting salmon sperm on your face. But why salmon sperm? But if you didn't know, salmon DNA is very similar to human DNA, so that's why it's a good match for us. Now, PDRN has already been used in a lot of medical treatments, and then when they realized that it has amazing regeneration type properties, a lot of K-beauty gurus started injecting it into their skin. But obviously, injecting anything into your skin using needles is a really bad idea. If you heard of like microneedling, that's a pretty popular cosmetic treatment you can get in Asia too where you essentially poke a bunch of holes into your face, damage your skin cells to, to signal your skin, hey, let's grow some more skin cells, but it's very invasive, right? When the PDRN gets absorbed into your skin, it releases a bunch of nucleotides which are the building blocks of DNA. It also has an anti-inflammatory effect where the PDRN actually turns off a certain cell receptor where it causes your face to flush and sweat. Well up. So it's really good for aging and dull skin and I find that it doesn't really have any harmful side effects like it doesn't make me flare up or anything. So if your skin barrier is broken down by a bunch of sun exposure from UV light or just like over exfoliation then I really recommend it. And on the topic of cosmetic treatments, you often see those red light therapy masks. I don't know if you've guys seen those. And like I said, I'm actually diagnosed with eczema and my dermatologist actually recommended me to use a red light mask but to be honest those are pretty expensive the red light it penetrates into your skin and the red light stimulates the little collagen and elastins underneath your skin so i'm so happy to say i was gifted a really cute device from a brand called amiro it's called a hydro glow booster and unlike the other red light devices it's small and it's portable and it's way cheaper than the other ones and it takes less than five minutes to do in your skincare routine so i just like to use this before i go to bed in my nighttime skin skincare routine so the device comes with little serums serums like this it looks pretty cool which you can inject into the device and the serum itself has so many good ingredients like pdr and any bunch of other ingredients too so you just pop that into the device and you roll it onto your skin and when i first used this device i could physically feel my facial muscles twitching it was pretty cool you can feel the muscles underneath your face twitch so how it works is that there's red light and infrared light that comes out of this device a lot of red light devices don't actually have infrared so the infrared and red light allows it to penetrate deeper into your skin so it penetrates down into the subdermal tissue and it gently warms the skin which increases circulation and nutrient delivery that means that your cells can repair themselves faster and your skin develops that healthy and radiant glow now the muscle twitchings are caused from the EMS which are electrical muscle simulations this device is basically giving your facial muscles like a little workout to help strengthen those muscles to help uplifted a bit more and i love how gentle this is like i said a lot of people do micro micro needling which is really invasive to your skin but this one it's super gentle even my sensitive skin with eczema was able to use this just fine and it's waterproof too so you just don't worry about it you can use it in the shower and you can wash it whenever you want and i think after one week of using it i already noticed how plump and firmer my skin was and i wasn't peeling i didn't have to use my eczema steroids anymore and I'm not saying this because I was gifted this. I genuinely think that I really want to keep using this onwards. And I think it is a good investment because this is going to last you years and years. And people pay a lot of money to do cosmetic procedures that have similar effects to what you can get from this one little device. So if you have skin that's very dull, not really pigmented, kind of dry, not that plump and firm, putting this on your face for five minutes a day, I think it's going to make a really big difference. Like I said, it's small, it's portable, and it's cheap. And if you buy it right now they're actually doing a sale campaign so you can go check out their website in the description or you can always use my code for an even more discount so definitely go check out this device if you want to step up your skincare routine and you're actually looking to transform your skin because there's only so much that putting on some skincare products will do to your skin so the last thing i'm going to talk about my skin is something that i wasn't really sure if i wanted to bring this up or not but it's food because i know some people say oh food makes a big 
difference on your skin and other people say no it's just genetics and i think there's both sides to the argument but i want to give you my take on this so growing up in an asian household especially with my mom's side being chinese we focus a lot on chinese herbal medicine and there's concepts of things like yin and yang and whenever i explain this to my western friends or even my friends in japan because i'm japanese right they don't understand this concept so in chinese medicine there's a yin and yang yin being cold yang being warm and each and every one of us we have a certain homeostasis point so for me my yang side is higher than my yin which means i'm hotter if you're more yang you're more susceptible to spot and you have less period pain whereas on the other hand if you're yin your body is colder and you probably have quite a lot of period pain and there's certain foods and drinks which are yin and yang and if you consume too much of one then your body becomes unbalanced and you start showing physical symptoms so because i'm yang my home homeostasis is on the warmer side if i eat or drink too many yang foods i start to break out a lot some examples of yang food that will be things like deep fried foods oily foods chocolate sweets <laughs> coca-cola basically all of the unhealthy foods are mostly yang but there's also a lot of fruits that are yang as well for example mangoes are really yang ginger is really yang so when i eat too much of those i start to break out immediately so to counterbalance that yang i tend to consume a lot of ying foods to help balance it out some examples of ying foods are things like watermelon green tea beer peppermint tea those are definitely a lot more ying so that will help bring my yang down <laughs> i just thought i would share this bit of advice because some people might not know it and whether you believe it or not it's honestly up to you but i honestly think chinese medicine they're way more advanced than western medicine is you know they have things like cupping therapy acupuncture which really works like chinese doctors know their stuff so if you're interested in learning a bit more about if you're yin or yang definitely do your own research i'm not the most knowledgeable about this i'm just sharing this because this is something that is popular to talk about in chinese culture so I hope this video helped on how to repair your skin barrier and what helped for me. Definitely avoiding things like really harsh chemical ingredients like retinol and using to move towards softer alternatives are definitely really good. Using hyaluronic acid really helped me and I really think that doing red light therapy using devices like Amiro's Hydroglow is really good. Obviously, they also sell the masks if you're willing to make that investment but if you're still not willing to make that investment and want to see if it actually works for yourself definitely starting with the cheaper alternative and the smaller portable one i think it's a really good way to test if it's a good fit for your skin it definitely was for me and pdrn is a really good ingredient because it doesn't have any harmful effects now, this is not so much of a skincare product itself but it's another thing that i've been loving to use in my skincare routine this adorable little lotion bottle called lotion bay now, i really like traveling and also because i am very particular about my skincare routine like i need to use this specific type of skincare lotion or the serum but i want to carry it with me but you know i can't fill a whole big bottle on the plane carrier right so i went to thailand a few weeks ago and i was arguing with my mom because i wanted to bring my big skincare bottle but obviously you can't take that on to the plane so i really like using portable lotion bottles i love these these are so cute a friend gifted this to me they're portable lotions and they're reusable so if you're ever in a pinch or you're on vacation or something and you want to carry out your skincare products or not even skincare products also things like hand creams or even makeup too these are super good and they're super cute to use as well it comes in a little package like this it's the perfect carrier it might look small but it can fit a lot inside it lasted me for a good two to three days or even if you're just going to school too i like to carry this around in my school bag with my favorite sunscreens because you know sunscreen bottles they're kind of big too i don't want to be carrying around a whole sunscreen bottle with me you just take whatever lotion you want to put on you want to lubricate the little top so it twists on a little bit better and you just pump it inside close the lid and then it just gently comes out like this if you squeeze it i love using it you can wash it as well and if you're in the united states too and you want one of this you can go grab this from amazon the link is in the description the creators of this were so nice for gifting me these and they gave me a bunch of american snacks that i devoured okay thank Thank you so much like they sent me goldfish i we don't have goldfish here in japan so i loved eating those and i've been loving this giant gigantic bag 
of peanut butter filled pretzels this is my favorite if you're watching this i love these thank you so much but yeah i really want you guys to go support them too so definitely go pick up a bottle for yourself So I hope this was a little bit helpful, especially with breaking down what some of these popular skincare ingredients do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!